We're going to begin here at 430 with a search for a man who stabbed a store security guard. Police now releasing new video hoping to track down the suspect. This is the new video showing the stabbing outside a Save-A-Lot store in Nicetown on Wednesday. Detectives say the security guard and asked the suspect to leave. He refused pulled out a knife and stabbed the guard. Action News reporter Katie Castro joining us now live outside Northwest Detectives in Logan with the details. Katie. Yeah, Brian and Sarah, police are continuing to look for this man. We spoke with residents in the area today and they are hoping that this man has a conscience and turns himself in. Take a good look at this man. He's caught on surveillance videos stabbing a security guard outside the Save a Lot store Wednesday at 4424 North Broad Street. Sort of a stabbing 4424 North Broad. Police say it all started when the security worker was asking the man to leave the front of the store. The man refused to leave. After several verbal confrontations, the man pulled out a knife and stabbed the security worker. Drove himself to the hospital after being stabbed. People who live in the area say they aren't surprised by his brazen action. Sad. That's because the great world is today. But many are surprised it happened in broad daylight just after 12.30 p.m. Her and I, we don't go out at night. Now the search is on for the man who stabbed the security guard, and police say he shouldn't be far. Also be advised the male that did the stabbing is frequency at reading in that park lot area. He's around 5'5 and is around 45 to 55 years old. He was last seen wearing a hunter green jacket, green camo pants, a gray hoodie, and tan boots. Residents say they are fed up with the violence. It makes no sense. Making a man doing his job. And they'll be on the lookout for the man. Just be aware of what's going on around you. Now, if you see that man, police say do not approach him. Instead, call 911 immediately. Reporting live in Logan, Katie Catro, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. All right, Katie, thank you.